Hi there, this is Hezeba Frances, a voice to the nations, and I just wanted to do a quick video to continue on the thoughts that I was just sharing on my WhatsApp status on how easy, in quotes, it seems sometimes for people to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues. And I just found myself, you know, thinking, why is it so easy, in quotes, yeah that when people are preached to and when they understand and desire the outpouring of the holy spirit it literally takes split seconds for them to uh, receive and begin speaking in tongues and i was contrasting that with you know some promises that we have from god and it's seeming like it, it is taking such a long time such a long time and it's it's seemingly not coming to pass what is the difference i feel like there are keys in how we receive receive the uh, the gift of the Holy Spirit in, in, in also how we receive other promises from God. First of all, I'm going to use the Malawi uh, outpouring of the Holy Spirit as an example. At the church that the, um, God had had me preach on the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the benefits of, the, of, of, of speaking in tongues. And one thing that he consistently said was desire. And I remember how I was baptized with the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues in 2012. It was actually a desire in my heart. I really, 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 really wanted the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I remember when Pastor... Um, her name is skipping my mind. When she was speaking about it, she said the Holy Spirit is already a gift that has been given by the Lord and all we do is receive. So the prayers we actually pray that day just, just uh, consisted of saying, Father, I thank you because you have already given the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now I receive the Holy Spirit. And we just started to say, thank you, God. I, I receive the Holy Spirit. And you know, this really just brings the scripture in Mark 11, 23, 24 to mind, where it's says that whatsoever you desire when you pray believe that you receive it and you shall have it and it was in the midst of that saying thank you god for i've received the holy spirit thank you god i received the holy spirit that the holy spirit actually poured out upon me hands weren't laid on me it was just in the midst of that desire in my heart and thanking god that i had already received because he has already given the holy spirit to me and then i had that which i was thanking god for so if we apply this to receiving promises and prophecies from God, number one, that God has already made us this promise and God has already given this promise to us. And then in that understanding, we begin to thank him because we have already received, whether it has come into our hands physically or not, but that I have already received that which you have given. And as we give thanks for it, it actually then becomes ours. We then have what we have received. So it's the same principle, actually. It's the same principle. Uh, and that principle is what makes it split seconds, you know. <laughs> And of course, sometimes, you know, spiritual things are so funny. Sometimes it takes days, sometimes it takes weeks, but it's what, it is what cuts short the time. That place of saying, I believe I have already received. And then according to scripture, that's the principle because we believe we have already received, then it shall be us. I just wanted to share, you know, it was just thoughts that were coming through my mind. I believe receiving promises from God can actually be as easy as when we receive the Holy Spirit. And of course, you know that there are those who go through journeys of not easily receiving the promise of the Holy Spirit. And I, and sometimes it, it, it has to do with this believing and it has to do with this desire. It has to do with fear. It has to do with doubts. All those things will hinder us receiving the promise as quickly as we should if we just say, God, I believe I have already received. You have already given. I've already received. And then we just begin to thank him for, 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 for that which we've received. And then it becomes ours indeed. Let me hear your thoughts. Uh, feel free to send a DM. Uh, are you in a place of believing God for a promise or a prophecy to come to pass? Does this help you in any way? Let me know. God bless you. Bye.